Get alerts like that as more storms roll through the area. Just download that free Denver 7 app. It's a good time to have it because, uh, as we mentioned, it came in quickly yesterday. It, it did. And again, a, a few people saw nothing. So it's going to be a little hit or miss again today. We're going to see more storms, though, probably by about 2 o'clock. That's going to be the timing of it. First in the foothills and then east. Between about 2 and 3 is when we'll see some scattered storms. So here's a look at your hourly planner. We're in the 60s this morning. We had some overnight rain, so the roads are wet, but things are starting to dry out. We've got more sunshine. We'll be at 72 by 11 and then highs near 80 this afternoon. Uh, another round of potentially some heavy rain with a few of these storms, and our temperatures will be about 10 degrees below normal. We're typically a little closer to 90 this time of year. It looks like a few uh, fewer storms expected on Friday, although we'll still see a chance in the afternoon as we head into the weekend. That's going to continue Saturday into Sunday as well. Beautiful shot from Westminster this morning. We're now under a mostly sunny sky, so everything's really going to dry up here uh, pretty soon. And on satellite radar, most of those showers have moved well down to the south. As you get a little closer to the springs, you might find uh, some wet roads. We're tracking heavier rain down to the south and east of Colorado, and the pattern does remain in place where we're going to get a few more thunderstorms each afternoon. Should be at about 75 degrees by 12 o'clock, so some mid to upper 70s. Uh, again, a little cooler today. Highs near 80. Some neighborhoods are only going to get into the upper 70s this afternoon. And there's that 230 future cast where storms develop here along I-25, push east, and we could see, again, some heavy pockets of rain with these. As you look off uh, across the eastern plains, we had a slightly better risk of isolated tornadoes yesterday, but today we could see some larger hail and some damaging winds. But it looks like by about 530 to 6 o'clock, most of those storms will be off to the east of town and we should be close to 80, so it really could be a pretty pleasant late afternoon, early evening. Overnight tonight, partly cloudy, but with that risk of severe storms today, it is going to cover the entire northern front range, well, southern front range as well. In fact, the entire I-25 corridor here through Colorado. Uh, some of these storms, again, with some gusts up to about 60 miles per hour. We had damaging winds up and through uh, Boulder County yesterday. Erie reporting some trees down there. Tomorrow, risk of severe weather is going to cover northeastern Colorado. Does again include Denver, and we should see some stronger storms tomorrow afternoon near Sterling and Akron. So the point is it continues and we're going to see more of these through the weekend. Uh, tomorrow is going to be a little warmer on Friday. We're near about 90 degrees. So at this point today, it's a first alert action day, but tomorrow we're going to pull that down. Come Saturday and Sunday, though, low to mid 80s. The change really arrives next week. That's when the air is going to get a lot drier. And Jace, things at that point will really heat up. Should be back in the mid 90s by Wednesday. Yeah.